Hey guys, I'm going to make my very own garden with these seeds for the first time and I'm going to take care of it and do it all on my own self and have some plants to make. <laughs> Alright, so Jaden's idea for our farm project today is to utilize this greenhouse that we're not using for anything right now and we're going to plant directly into here, into the dirt. Um, right now we just, we already planted all these seedlings that we started a while ago. So we're going to have to take this table out and take all the stuff out. We have some old cardboard laid out on the floor. So we're going to remove that and kind of scrape up the dirt, pull out any weeds that we have here and plant directly into the soil. So Jaden picked out some seeds that he wanted to get planted for his little garden. Um, we're going to plant some banana peppers some beets and carrots those are really good for the winter time and some anaheim chili peppers so that is plenty of seeds for this little plot so what we're going to do is plant them like in rows and leave ourselves walkway enough space to to walk around and he's going to be in charge of watering every day and maintaining his garden pulling the weeds out and harvesting so we look forward to showing all the progress with you guys on that and then the greenhouse itself will also serve as protection against um, pests and most of the bugs we probably still will have some pest problems which we will try to manage organically but um, it definitely helps a little bit and it helps from weather protection as well if we do experience any frost or if it gets really cold so that is our project for today he wanted to do this on his own we also have some blood meal and bone meal that we can also add into the dirt over here because this is just a natural florida dirt there's no no compost or anything in here so we'll probably sprinkle that in when we put the seeds as well just to add extra nutrients but i look forward to sharing the progress on this little garden so let's get started So we cleared out some of the weeds that were in here. It's a complete empty plot. So what we're going to do is sprinkle in some blood meal powder and some bone meal powder. So that would add nutrients. So and then we're just going to kind of mix all that in with the little scraper tool that we have. And that should add some good nutrients into this dirt. There is some dirt mixed in here from where we had a bunch of potted plants in there. So there's some potting mix and that will help too. But this will just add some extra nutrients. Because most of the things that we've had in here in the past is just potted plants and starters. Alright, that should be good, Jaden. And then used all of it. Um, a little bit of the bone meal too.
watered thoroughly. So now Jaden's job is to keep this watered every single day because even if it rains, this will not get rained on at all because of the plastic greenhouse. So we gotta keep our eye on it at all times. Do you think we should close it up or leave it open for now? Uh, maybe close it up. So okay, so you there. just gotta undo the Velcro up there. We'll close it up and that'll act like its own little greenhouse. And we will see later on. The things we planted have different germination rates, so we just gotta keep our eye on everything. I think the peppers will take the longest out of the two. Um, the beets will probably sprout first and the carrots. So we will just keep an eye on it and keep you guys updated on how this little project goes. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that you guys are motivated into starting your own little garden as well. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.